we're going to continue trying to improve the shifter feel of this car so if you see part one we took it out we shimmed this a little bit uh we put some uh, metal foil in here to try to shim that out some uh some thick alloy and then we're going to today replace this whole plastic piece with a ben shifter uh it's a whole metal piece it replaces the plastic plug on the bottom with a bolt uh, and we've also got a needle bearing to go in the side of here to uh, to get this movement because you can still see there is just a ton of play in the shifter but it's mostly from down here from that plastic bit just wobbling around because uh, you know it's 20 years old and the plastic has uh, worn away a little bit so you can see our video before of removing the center console there's tons of those videos but I'll link it up the top here too and uh, we'll remove that and we'll take the whole shifter out and put it on our kitchen bench to have a look at it and try to get these parts in. All right, shifter is out. Now, the parts. So this is a distributor in the US as well, but I got this direct from the guys in France, Ben Auto Design. So what we have, get out of there. To replace this piece here, we have a machined piece of metal here, and instead of the plastic peg that goes through, we now have a bolt, and in the middle is a Delrin, I think that's the name, say it, um, so that's a machinable heavy piece of nylon that the ball of the shifter goes into, so that will have almost no play whatsoever. And we have something else too. So. From the States, there is a guy on eBay selling a needle bearing kit. So that is going to go into there and just be very smooth. I mean, as smooth as it is, and we packed it out a little bit with a thicker washer. But that is a thicker washer with a retaining clip and instructions. So we're going to try to get all these together on our shifter for hopefully much better shifter feel. Just having a read of the instructions. So that's from uh, GearEd Restoration Parts. You can look at them on YouTube. So it's super easy to do. Um, now it does come with that PEFT, that kind of Teflon nylon bush, uh, which is supposed to go in there so if but we're replacing this anyway so we're not going to be using that but you got a, a brass one to go on one side the roller on that one it comes as fishing line too in case you want to do this installation without removing it from the car that way you're supposed to loop the fishing line through so you don't risk dropping it down into the bottom okay now we're going to take this apart so we've done this before in our other video you get in here and there's a this plastic peg has just got teeth on it flathead screwdriver is all you need to lever, put some pressure on it and it should pop out. There we go. Now this thing isn't round, it's actually square on the side, so that's something we have to address in a minute because we have to drill that hole and make it round for the bolt. Okay, that is done. Now, take out the connection here. On this side, it's just a press pin. Of the new one is a bolt fitting. So that's just a little plastic clip. Remove, and we should be able to get that out. I think we got to take out the whole short shift mechanism to refit the new one. Yes, we do, which is good because I wanted to move this shifter mechanism back a bit. It's a little bit far forward, and you do that with these bolts here. So we'll just pull those bolts out. And that's a 15, uh, 17 mil, and I've got, no, it's gonna be a 19 mil. Oh, there we go. So I gotta get a new wrench, and we'll just pull that 
the whole shifter mechanism out of this. Okay, we've loosened those bolts off. You don't even know if I had to do that in these circle clips. I'm gonna pop those up, put my hand over so fling around. Now that whole mechanism is, there we go, pop that. We're going to adjust it so it sits a bit further back when we get this ready to go. And I'm going to re-grease everything here because this grease is full of plastic, actually. Okay, there we go. Now that should just lift, yes, straight up and out. Okay, and we'll see what the problem is on this. So the problem is that over time the metal is worn away the plastic and it just doesn't fit well anymore. So we'll clean off all this old grease, reapply some new lithium grease and get reassembling. Okay, before we tackle the side piece of the shifter, we're gonna do that needle bearing now. So pretty easy to do. Like I said, you can do this on the car. You want a 13 mil on either side and just loosen that up. So it's a pretty weird bolt, that one. It's not exactly straight through because it's got a nut on this side, but it looks like it's there we go. Okay, that is out and then we're gonna pull it. So you can see that's what we've done there. Okay. Now we'll give that a little wipe down. It does call for a little bit more grease, but more, more so to hold it in place, I think. Okay, now let's get the orientation right. So we are a right-hand drive car. So sitting in the car, shifter mechanism is here, and this has a little bit of an angle towards the driver. If you are on the other side, you might want to flip it around. Okay, let's get this new set up here. Pretty cool little bearing. And we've got some high temp grease here. Just put a thin coat on. doesn't call for much grease. And I don't know what side we should put onto what, but seeing the other side's moving, we'll do that side. Now you're supposed to put the needle bearing on the peg side, okay? And then we'll get the bolt and align it. And then you use, oh, that's cool. Very cool. And then it comes with Could reuse the other washers, but uh, this is a little bit thicker. I only have to use the one then. I gotta, gotta jam it in there though. So this is for a B&M branded shifter, and this is clearly not. So it may not fit, but it's supposed to. Yeah, B&M B shifter should have lots of room. We might have to reuse our other copper washers we had before. Okay, because it's not a B&M shifter, it took a bit of trial and error to get the right ones to fit, but what I ended up doing, of course, we got the roller bearing, and then we used one of our thin brass washers because the uh, the one supplied with the kit is a bit thicker, so there must be a bit more room on the BMM, or maybe I've squished this together because I've cranked down so hard with the last time, but uh, there is zero side-to-side -side play in that now. Absolutely none, not even the slightest. 
uh, so it's all greased up smooth and we're now it's time to attack this so we'll be putting this in now and uh, to do that we need to just we need to properly round out this hole like I said it's like it's uh, got flat sides on it so we need to make it open and that way we can get that bolt through it okay now we got to modify this a tiny bit nothing major so what we have to do is to make that inside hole a little bigger and then make a little room uh, it's dark there so it's going to drill through that tab and this one will be flattened off we can do that with a file or the drill bit but we have a 10 mil bit and we're just going to put it through and was it it doesn't matter if it's messy because it's uh, going to be bolted on so it'll hold it all snug notched out wish for some room so we'll just take the sides off that so yeah, that's it rounds out the hole and we'll test fit with our bolt wherever that went here it is so it's got to go through there like that so we got room for the nut on the side perfect Okay, now we'll get the, everything lined up. We're gonna have to install the shifter at the same time, so we'll need two hands and then we'll get it in here. Holding it in, so we'll just remove this. Which of course holds our cable on. Now we got no problems. Go along through the back. Now, I'll just slide these on for now. now I'm going to regrease them. And we'll put the C clamps on in a sec. Okay, there we go. We now have the shifter in. So we can just now uh, connect the little cable bit and put this bolt in. So the bolt, uh, we're gonna have to get in there with a, uh, a thin box wrench, which we have just to hold the nut. It's gonna be a bit tricky, but we should be able to manage. Okay, so I've just got the nut in there, and I'm gonna use, these guys, the guys who made this recommend using a, uh, just jamming a big screwdriver in there to try to hold it, because you're not gonna get a wrench in. So we'll just hold that in position for now, get that started. bit fiddly but easy enough to do come on this might be easier without this on Okay, that thread is started. Now it's just a Allen key to tighten it. It looks like a five, is it a five? Nope. It is a five and a half. 
Okay, so starting to spin. We'll get the screwdriver in there. Tight. Wow, look at that. That is just awesome. Doesn't move at all. Tiniest bit of wiggle on it. I think we can get that a bit tighter. Get that plastic to really clamp down. Okay, we are reassembled. We've got our C, our C clips back on. Oh, I'll get stuck in there. The C clips are back on. This is adjusted. We have no contact up there, which is what we're after. Um, so it's as far back as it can go before it, it uh, catches on the C clips there. So it's just nice and easy, but that motion is really smooth. Everything is lubed up. We got lots of grease in there, grease in there, grease inside the inside the little cups. Um, and now we're gonna put the other cable on. So the other cable goes on under here. And you get the cable. Obviously orientation, you want that little gap to be facing the top. This goes through and we'll put a little bit of grease on here as well. It's not gonna need too much. We don't want it on the threads. And that's gonna go through there. And screw in, it's got an Allen key again. Put it over, goes into here. Great bit of hardware, this. So we got ours from the manufacturer of France, we, because they are out of them in the US, but uh, yeah, normally available in the US. Okay, now this is a, what size is that? Nope. That was a four, and let's try a five. So it should be a five mil. Yep, that's a five mil Allen key there. Okay, that's not coming off, and it's kind of spaced, so you can crank it because there's that metal housing thing there. So, all right, now, we are fully reassembled and we can put this back into the car. I can't wait to see how this feels. Okay, we got it back in the car, rolling through the gears. That second and third is always the bad one and there is like no play in this now. The tiniest, tiniest little bit. I don't know where that's even, where would even, I think it's still coming from the little bit of movement in the bushing there, but you gotta have some, otherwise it's not gonna work. Uh, it's just gonna be jammed, so that's, uh, that's a win. Highly recommend you pick up one of these uh, and that roller bearing is uh, super smooth, but we'll really know that when we start pushing the gears when we're driving. We're reassembled and yes, that is some nice precise shifting. Feels fantastic. Very, very little play in there. And um, if you have a look at a, another video we just did, we just did a little black shoe polish and after a big clean of this gear lever uh, handbrake handle. And uh, it came up looking a lot better than it was before. So I went on that as well.